We're here in our field of jalapeno peppers, and if you look at the plants on either side of me, you can get a good view of a compare and contrast of what a nice, good, healthy jalapeno plant should look like with dark green leaves. And on this side, we see plants that the leaves are starting to yellow, and that's a clear indicator that there is a nutrient deficiency in these plants. I see the problem down the entire length of the row, so that tells me that there's something wrong with the drip tape that delivers the water and the nutrients to the plants underneath the plastic. These plants are clearly not getting the nutrients that they need to grow properly to produce jalapeno peppers. One of the reasons that that's a problem is if you look at the fruit off of a jalapeno that is getting the proper amount of nutrients, you have a nice green jalapeno pepper that's the size you would expect to see uh, that you can buy from the grocery store. On plants with a nutrient deficiency, the, the peppers are much smaller, and that is because the plants are not getting the nutrients that they need to be able to produce fruit efficiently. We wouldn't want to sell peppers like this uh, to our customers because this fruit is not going to have the same taste that a fruit off of a healthy plant would have. And ultimately, at the end of the day, this will affect our overall yield. If plants aren't getting the proper nutrients, then we aren't going to pick the same amount of fruit off of a field as we would if they were getting the nutrients that they need. So Jake's talking about plant nutrition, and that's what clearly we can see the theme here today. But I love that you brought these samples here. I'm guessing you like one of these plants more than the other, but can you explain <laughs> what's going on to all the students? Well, let me explain. Uh, first of all, this was a mistake. <laughs> Somewhere out in our field, uh, the drip tube got messed up. So and this is the one that he was referencing in that video. That's okay, exactly interesting. exactly right. So what happened is the drip tube got stopped up. So this plant did not receive the water and nutrients that, that the, other, the other plants did. And it's, a, it's so very obvious what happens when you don't receive the nutrients. Look at the size of the plant, the green of the plant, the size of the peppers on the plant, the number of peppers on the plant. Uh, it's just striking the difference. So I think your students can tell how important it is that these nutrients be applied and the water be applied at the proper amounts at the proper time. Yeah, it's, it's really, really fascinating when you see that stark difference, that comparison right there. And as a farmer, you know, I want to see this one because these big peppers on there we can pick and we can sell. And these little peppers here, the consumer doesn't want those, so we can't sell them. That's right. Okay. So, we asked you earlier, submit your questions. So many of you have. Melissa, can you remind the students, what was the question, the math problem? Absolutely. Math problems are my favorite. So, if each flat contains eight one-pound clamshells of strawberries, and there are 108 flats per pallet, and at the height of the season, we at here at Hinton Farms can pick up to 50 pallets of strawberries per day, how many pounds of strawberries does Hinton Farms pick in one day? A lot of strawberries. It is a lot of strawberries. <laughs> Up to, of course, but we what we love here is so many people are participating, sharing those answers. So Kim Thunhurst, Adam Thomason, um, Mrs. Yannick, so many of the teachers here are participating, and they're saying the correct answer of... 43,200 pounds, that's exactly right. So nice job, thanks for participating with us. Really interesting when you think about the scale of what goes on here and at the same time you were sharing earlier, it's kind of a smaller farm compared to some of the bigger commercial farms. So fascinating stuff. Let's learn more about how you take your plants, your vegetables, your fruits and process them and get them to the supermarket. 